Well, good morning. Uh, why don't you let me know if you're here uh, by saying something in the comments. I'm uh, glad to be with you this morning and to be able to share from God's word uh, for you. Today, we are going to be reading from Psalm 11, which uh, incidentally was the psalm that Danielle and I were on in our daily psalm reading yesterday. And as I was reading it, uh, reading Psalm 11, that is, I was just really struck by the first uh, line, which says, in the Lord I take refuge. That's it. I was really struck by that phrase. In the Lord, I take refuge. And this psalm is going to be talking about what God sees during these times, what God knows, and uh, what we can take refuge in. Uh, so I'm going to be reading from Psalm 11 here in just a second. Uh, incidentally, I'm going to be reading from this book called Psalms for All Seasons, which is a hymnal I picked up last fall that. Um, continues to mean a lot to me, and it has all of the psalms for reading and also certain hymns that go along with them. So again, uh, why don't you, if you have a Bible with you, um, go ahead and open up that Bible to Psalm 11 and read along with me as we hear about what the Lord sees, what the Lord knows uh, in times of crisis. Uh, let's read from Psalm chapter 11. In the Lord I take refuge. How can you say to me, flee like a bird to the mountains? For look, the wicked bend the bow. They have fitted their arrow to the string to shoot in the dark at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold. His gaze examines humankind. The Lord tests the righteous and the wicked, and his soul hates the lover of violence. On the wicked he will rain coals of fire and sulfur. A scorching wind shall be the portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous. He loves righteous deeds. The upright shall behold his face. And that's the message for, for us this morning, isn't it? The Lord is righteous. He loves righteous deeds. The upright shall behold his face. And as we look to the righteous one, the Lord Jesus, we can be sure the Lord is our refuge and that he sees and knows what is going on. God is with us. He is present in these times. Well, now we are going to pray together. What I'd like you to do is, um, why don't you write your prayer requests just in the comments right there. And um, I'm going to wait maybe 30 seconds so that people can write some stuff. And we'll pray uh, together. Um, I want us to think particularly today about people who um, are hit hard by this crisis. I, I was thinking this morning about the parents in our congregation who are adjusting to a new reality. So let's see, let's think, who can we pray for today? So I'm going to give you about 30 seconds. Why don't you go ahead and write something in the comments and we will pray together. Okay, let's take some time and pray together. I'm going to start 
with the prayer that is in this hymnal, Psalms for All Seasons. Loving God, you are our shelter, even when your whole creation is shaken and wickedness prevails. No one, helpless, orphaned, or oppressed, is beyond your reach and care. You have given us victory over sin and death in the rising of your Son. Let the surpassing joy of his resurrection conquer our present fear. Lord, that is our prayer this morning. Lord, we pray that the joy of Jesus' resurrection would conquer the present fear of this moment. Lord, we praise you for the basic blessings that you have provided for us. We praise you that the sun has come out today. We praise you, Father, that you continue to bless people with uh, just these daily realities of weather. Lord, that they are a sign of your watch care over us. Lord, we are aware of how much strain our world is under right now. Lord, this is the midst, we are in the midst of a crisis. There's no other word for it. And so, Lord, this morning, we pray with Doug for the doctors, the respiratory therapists and techs, the first responders and all of the helpers. Lord, we do pray for them. We pray, Father, that you would give in them a overwhelming sense of peace Lord, that they would have the strength that they need to get past this. Help us to do our part by staying home. Help us, Lord, to be considerate. Help us to love our neighbors. Lord, bless those who are stepping into this time. Keep them safe. Keep them healthy. Lord, and may they come to know you if they don't already. Lord, we pray for the continuing economic aspect of this crisis. Lord, I do pray for people who have lost their jobs, for the saddening reality of that, Lord, that it it hurts my heart. Lord, I pray for these people. I pray that, that you would provide their basic needs for them. Lord, I pray that you would be gracious to them, that you would minister to them through your people, Lord, that we would pull together like the people in Acts to make sure that everybody has what they need. Lord, I pray that in this strange and unusual season, we would have wisdom on how to love the people who have lost their jobs. Lord, I pray that you would be with our leaders, those who are making these tough decisions, to do so with the care of people, Lord, before anything else. Lord, may the care for your image bearers, the people, Lord, who you have made to bear your image in this creation, may they be the primary concern right now. I pray, even for the people who have lost their jobs, that you would keep them safe. And I pray that they wouldn't lose their homes. I pray that you would um, keep them from whatever calamity might come their way. Lord, As I scroll through here, uh, I do pray for pastors and chaplains, Lord. Uh, I I pray in particular for Chaplain Jared. Lord, I know the chaplains are going to be bearing a heavy burden right now, um, and I I pray for them. I pray also for um, hospital chaplains, Lord, who are going to have to take a lot of um, time, Lord, to, to care for the sick in the hospitals. I pray, Lord, that you would direct them and keep them safe. I pray, Father, that you would encourage their hearts that the work that they are doing is valuable. I pray that you would uh, bless them and bring them to yourself, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you would um, encourage them. And, Lord, in all these things, we have been brought to the point where we are now fully sure that we are not our own but belong to you. Lord, that you are our refuge, that you are in your holy temple, that your eyes behold the things that happen. And I pray today for all of our hearts, may we act out of love 
for our neighbors today. Lord, may we recognize that the moment we are in is supposed to pull us close to you, Father. May we draw near to you at this time. May we cling to your promises. Father, may we take refuge in you today. And we pray all these things confidently, knowing that the Holy Spirit is with us. Though we are absent in body, we are present in spirit. Lord, we bless you. We praise your name. We are confident in your mercy to us through Jesus our Lord, who died and rose again. And I pray this morning, Lord, for all these things in his name. Amen. Well, my brothers and sisters, the Lord bless you and keep you today. Uh, all of my love to you, and I, I hope to see you soon. In Jesus' name. Have a good day.